This video shows how to organize Wavelink's devices into areas and zones for proper operation. The Wavelink's mobile application will be used to assign the Wavelink's devices. Before beginning, locate a bright flashlight to streamline the identification process. Go to the first room to be configured, and then open the mobile application. Connect to the wireless area controller. In the main screen, tap the plus sign in the area section to create a new area. Enter a short descriptive name for the room. If necessary, adjust the default fade times. Tap Save to open the new area. The mobile application will automatically create two dimmable lighting zones and a receptacle zone. Loads assigned to the same zone will operate as a group. If the room requires additional zones, tap the plus sign next to the zone list. Type in a descriptive name for the new zone and then select the type of desired operation. Leave the additional options at the defaults or use the selection controls to customize the operation further. Tap the Save option. Once the new zone opens, tap the Back button to go back to the Area screen. Create any additional zones needed. Before starting device identification, look at the bottom of the Area screen. All devices that have not been assigned will show in the unassigned device list. Each device type has a unique device icon, as well as a unique identification method. To identify which of these devices are the controlled loads in the space, shine the flashlight into the lens of a fixture's integrated sensor, or a towel mount sensor, for three to four seconds. In the unassigned device list, look for a device icon that is pulsing on the far left. This is the identified device. Drag and drop the device onto the zone icon it should report to. Repeat this process for each fixture with integrated sensor or towel mount sensor in the room. Next, assign any loads controlled by Wavelink switch packs. Switch packs will be identified using the Flash to Find feature. Locate the first switch pack icon in the unassigned device list. Double tap the device to place it in Flash to Find mode. The icon will pulse and the switch pack will cycle on and off for 15 seconds. If the expected load does not respond, Locate the next switch pack icon and repeat this procedure until the load responds to the command. Drag and drop the identified switch pack into the proper zone. Repeat this process for additional switch packs within the room. Next, assign any loads controlled by Wavelink's receptacles. At the receptacle, Press and release the receptacle's manual push button. In the mobile application, locate the pulsing device icon. Drag and drop the identified receptacle into the correct receptacle control zone. Repeat this process for additional receptacles in the room. Next, identify ceiling sensors in the space. Stand beneath the first ceiling sensor and shine the flashlight into the sensor lens for three to four seconds. Ceiling sensors do not report to zones. Drag and drop the pulsing sensor icon into the area section of the screen. Repeat with additional ceiling sensors. Finally, identify the wall stations in the space. At the first wall station location, Press any button on the wall station. 
The button LED should flash for approximately 15 seconds. Like the ceiling sensor, wall stations report to the area. Drag and drop the identified wall station into the area section of the screen. Repeat with additional wall stations in the room. Once completed, all devices in the area should be assigned and operational. Repeat this process until all areas are configured. Once finished, the unassigned device list should be empty. The organization of Wavelink's devices is now complete. Devices will control their assigned areas using the automatic code control operation.